Well, let's you know what? Let's start off with that. Let's let's do uh, President Biden signs the Inflation Reduction Act into law. And then we'll watch not friend of the show, but I wish he was a friend of the show, a vlog brother, Hank Green, discuss how exciting the, the climate component of this bill is, even if I don't fully agree with his takes. But we'll see. All right. President Biden signed a massive bill called the Inflation Reduction Act into law after months of negotiations. It includes ambitious measures to address climate change and health care costs. Ed O'Keefe is at the White House. Ed, good morning. Nate, good to see you. The White House and Democrats overall now think they've got something good to sell to voters. The Inflation Reduction Act includes the largest ever federal spending to combat climate change. It would reduce health care costs or keep them lower for many people on Medicare and the Affordable Care Act. I've seen you say before that the reason you're not vegan is that it's tasty. Do you think taste is more important than the life of an animal? Yes. Um, two reasons why I'm not vegan. One, meat substitutes don't have the same macronutrients. Uh, I've tried it. I got a bunch of like cool stuff that I could eat and it tasted pretty good. If it tastes good, then it doesn't have the good macros. And if it, t uh, and if it has good macros, it doesn't taste good. But yes, I, I am a speciesist. Yes, I do believe that the, the life of a human being, uh, is, is just intrinsically more valuable and it's not even something I can personally describe to you logically. It's just uh, just on its own. And vegans themselves are speciesist as well. It's more of a matter of <clears throat> it's more of a matter of like whether that speciesism uh, uh, allows you to feel like it's acceptable. It's morally acceptable to eat a animal or not like end a life and eat an animal or not um and for me yeah it is and also as far as like as far as uh i mean I've, I've described this many many times over you're not saving human lives by eating animals lamont no 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 i know i know i'm saying vegans are also specious which uh, i think they will agree to a certain degree, like if you ask, you know, the hypothetical fucking situation where you're talking about a plane crash or whatever, uh, would you rather eat uh, an animal you found in the wild there or another human being? You would eat an animal in the wild instead, right? But that speciesism does not mean that like vegans themselves believe that it clears the bar of, of harming an animal and eating an animal or personal consumption when alternative substitutes are available. Okay. And I get that. I, I I have talked to a lot of vegans. I understand their position. Um, yeah, veganism is about harm reduction. People suffer all along our food production. Think about what happens to the people who have to kill the animals you consume. What? I agree that I'm species to a certain degree. I'm vegan. Yes, of course. Everyone is species. That's normal. There's a, that's a normal opinion. That's a normal approach. Any vegan that tells you that they're not species at all is lying to you. It's more so about whether or not it's more so about whether or not that speciesism uh, is a, is a standalone justification for consuming animal proteins, like ending the life of an animal and vegans don't agree. Vegans say even despite their speciesism, that doesn't mean that it's a it's the bar to clear on ending the life of like a sentient being or not sentient being, but like ending the life of a of an animal just for pure personal consumption, just for food, when better alternatives are available, readily available, is is unacceptable, which I understand. I do understand that. Okay? I get where you're coming from. For me though, uh, it is appropriate. And not only that, but I also recognize like the hypocrisy that people constantly talk about, like, you know, domestic, uh, domesticated animals versus cows and, and pigs and whatnot. And it's not even about their level of intellect. I think it's more so about, it's more so about the, the animals, um, I guess, uh, cultural understanding of the animal and, and the value it provides the humans. Uh, that's why like, uh, people are shocked at the prospect of eating like pigs or not pigs. Sorry. People are shocked at the prospect of eating, uh, uh cats and dogs because cats and dogs are well, relatively domesticated, not cats, but dogs definitely are. And they have, 
Um, they have value to humans beyond, um, you know, they have value to humans beyond consumption, like beyond meat. People have humanized pets, but not farm animals. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. All right. Let's get back to uh, a way to, to uh, try to reduce our carbon footprint without uh, stopping our animal protein consumption, the Inflation Reduction Act. And it's paid for with new taxes on billion-dollar companies that right now pay almost nothing to the U.S. government yeah, in I'm taxes. Watch the, the legislation was made possible after a deal was struck with West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin, who was on hand to receive the pen from the president. That's quite the picture right there. Mr. Biden also gave a preview of what to anticipate this fall campaign season. The bill I'm about to sign is not just about today. It's about tomorrow. It's about delivering progress and prosperity to American families. It's about showing the American and the American people that democracy still works in America. Once it's yeah, Americans were like, dude, can we please get some fucking tax cuts for corporations that are switching over to like uh, some some additional carbon capture initiatives? That's that's what America dem dem uh, democratically wanted. I feel like if if we democratically were able to, uh, you know, if we were able to democratically align on legislation and the legislative agenda. More Americans would probably want to, like, you know, kill Joe Manchin, literally, uh, within a military tribunal where at the end they line him up against the wall and, like, fucking blindfold him and shoot him, okay, in a, in a fire drill, um, than, than this bill, like, straight up. I think, I think legally, okay, and no, this is not a video game moment. I'm saying, like, legally speaking, okay? If there was a hypothetical theoretical scenario in which Americans were able to democratically organize, more Americans would probably uh, agree to a military tribunal where Joe Manchin is like punished for treason, okay, than, than this fucking uh, bill. Now, this bill is all right. This bill is all right. Yeah, it, it, it is unfortunately the best we're going to get for the time being. I know an Orthodox Jew who unironically includes Joe Manchin in his daily prayers. What? Yeah. West Virginia Senator has agreed to support climate action, but only after ensuring his home state would remain a fossil fuel fiefdom. So disgusting. vacation is over next week. The president and members of his cabinet are scheduled to attend dozens of events in at least 23 states to talk about the plan, and they'll be directly or indirectly campaigning for fellow Democrats. One person, though, who won't be out anytime soon is the First Lady. Dr. Jill Biden tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. She is going to stay at the home in South Carolina that the Bidens used for the first part of their vacation, and will leave there once she tests negative twice. The president, for now, is in nearby Delaware at their home. Damn, dude. He ain't getting that Jill Brandon. Uh, he ain't getting that Jill Brandon action. All right.